everyone. It's me, Ham. I'm back for our community update. This month, give me a second to adjust things around here. Got some dipping frame rate. The cameras aren't really picking up my mouth movements again. All the fun stuff. All the fun first stream of the month stuff. Let me start up some music while we get to work. Make sure I'm not sucking up frames here. their tracking function. I had to go in and fix everything. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Ham. I'm a Polo's Earth sponsor. I was here last month for an update and I'll be here once a month, usually at the beginning, to give more updates on the work we're doing for the channel and uh, all that good stuff. So let me just go over is we've created community milestone. Um, we didn't start out with any of these and we probably should have in hindsight. So one of our first goals was to get 10 followers onto the channel by the end of December. Uh, we completely underestimated how long it would take and we were pretty certain that people weren't going to be very interested in us. And we were wrong, pleasantly wrong. So uh, we did a post on Twitter thanking our first 11 uh, followers here on Twitch. And then we set out to create community milestones for a bunch of other goals. Sorry, I've got to turn the music for myself. So the first ones on the list are our Twitch followers. So the next goal is to get to 25. And we're not going to set time limits on these. We're going to get here in our own time. Uh, so 25 will debut Olo's different communicator uh, filters. And that'll be for uh, like different costumes and bottles uh, that Polo can switch to. And then 50, we will have a watch party over on our Discord. And uh, we'll be watching Centaur World because that's uh, one of our favorite uh, Western cartoons. And it's a great fun time. Uh, we'll probably do that over several weekends just to celebrate the community and uh, have fun watching a show we like. And then we've got goals for our team. So our first one is three because in order to progress viewers per video for a consistent amount of time. And so whenever we do reach that, maybe three viewers over a week, uh, we will have a uh, get-together where we do a stream and 
all of the participants in chat can uh, design a decoration that will go in all those eight rooms. Uh, at five, we'll play Gardaquil with our community. And at seven, uh, the community can vote on a party game, whether that be Jack in the Box or some other variety. Now, for the Twitter followers, we actually met the first one already. So we've got 25 Twitter followers now, and we are running a digital art commission raffle. So you have to follow me on Twitter for that, and then write in the comments that you are interested in entering into the raffle. And uh, that will close. Uh, So those will close on October 8th uh, or 7th if you're in the United States. And uh, then at 50, we'll have a outfit design raffle. So we'll let the followers enter into a contest to design a new communicator stand for all that we will maybe go on stream. So those were just some fun things I thought we could do to celebrate our growth with the community and uh, just have fun. Okay, so here's our community board. A couple of things have changed on it. We went ahead and put a photo in the right hand corner for the celebration of Polo's uh, album release party for Sweet Home Ubu. So, we recently got a distributor, so you'll be able to listen to those songs on Spotify and purchase them on Amazon and iTunes and things like that. Uh, people who subscribe to the $5 tier on our Patreon get it at basically half the price of what it's going to be in stores. Uh, and you also get some really great Or you can just listen to it for free on YouTube and Spotify. Which I highly recommend. Just do that. Save your money. <laughs> so uh, next we've got our community journal. So I redid a lot of it. It was very messy the first round. So I just completely created new pages for it. So here's our first page. This one's dedicated to... Uh, things we're working on for models, costumes, and props. So you'll notice that the Halloween one is completed. You'll be able to see Olo's Halloween costume there after I'm done rambling on. And uh, she's really excited to be able to show them off to you guys. I've completed the art for all of these, and I just need to go into Live Beauty and finish uh, We've got these little props. I've already completed winter and spring. So I've started summers. And I haven't done falls yet. Which, that one should probably uh, get completed because after uh, the end of October, that's what she'll switch to wearing on stream. So I'll definitely be working on that. Uh, you'll notice that there's stickers here, and I forgot to mention it uh, earlier, but the stickers indicate where we're at in the status of things. So star stickers means that that has been completed. Green stickers mean that it is a work in progress. We've completed some of the work for it, but it needs refinement or it needs other assets in order to be completed. And the red stickers mean that the section or object is of the highest priority. So the model fixes and stuff is on the top of my to-do list. And you'll notice that a lot of it is a work in progress. The first three things are technically completed. Polo can do all these on screen. But it wasn't to the quality that I want. <laughs> So definitely going to be increasing the, the quality of 
so that's why those are still working. But those are definitely on the top of my screen. Over to our next page. We've um, got the overlays, commands, and community interactions. So you'll notice that the chat overlay has recently gotten an update, as well as the video overlay. And I am working on the alert box. I have the art for them completed, but I have to learn how to program them to do the cool little pop in and out. But uh, those are partially done. Uh, for the channel improvements section, uh, I redid the about panels over on the Twitch tab. They are now themed to fit uh, a little better, and uh, they're a little more fun. Uh, I've redone the uh, calendars, so I post calendars onto Twitter and Patreon, and those have a fresh updated look. Um, and then we're into prep work for whenever we're able to reach affiliate. Um, I started out making a lot of these already um, before we even got onto Twitch because I was under the misconception that you could use these as gates, and that was not the case. So, we just, um, we're redesigning some of these because they're quick things that we can fix while we're out and about. Uh, on days when we're doing other things and we can't necessarily stream, we still put in work. So, I redid the points icon, and, uh, they are now more legible to see. All the stuff I made was too detailed for the small scale that they're going to be seeing at. So I had to go in and redo them and uh, simplify them so they can be seen better. So the points icons are done. I've set up the rewards icon and the badges are completely uh, fixed now. So there is uh, static emote overhaul, which is still left. I haven't even seen it. I had created like 32 emotes per tier. <laughs> Too many. So I have to go through and redo them so that they look better on the smaller icon scale and also weed out the unnecessary and uh, just kind of focus and so those are what's on this. Uh, down at the community section of the page, you'll notice that uh, these are both completed. So one of our tasks was to create the milestone rewards, which we went over earlier, and then to make a community updates Discord. So I'll be posting all of these infographics uh, onto the community discord channel um, and I'll be updating it monthly so that you guys can also see there what I'm working on. I'll also update it uh, more frequently than just the uh, first month overview. I'll probably update them as I get items completed or uh, if I've just done a whole bunch of And then this is the last page. I haven't even touched anything on this page. This is music and animation. So this is where I've put down where all the animation work has to be done. I want to completely redo the uh, in-between pages, like starting soon, we are back, offline and game pages. Um, all of the uh, all of the alert animations that I originally did, uh, page transitions. Uh, I want to do a special animation for when people come to read us and uh, do a channel transfer. Uh, those are probably up there to be done first. And then we have animated emotes, which will just be prep work for later on. Uh, and then maybe a couple of music videos for the Sweet Home Lagoon album. 
and better gift animations for just the singles that we make on stream and post on the page. Uh, uh, there's a couple things on here that are specific to rewards and to uh, command as well. And then down in the music section, I want to be able to redo all the music for the channel to be themed more for Olo and uh, to have a coherent sound between all the pages. Uh, right now, I just have an assortment of lo fi music that we make on separate pages. None of them really sound cohesive as well. They're not really themed for Olo, they're just things we did before the Sweet Home Boon album. And that was it for our pages. So I'll leave you guys alone now. And uh, I'll be switching over to the beat right back. And then uh, Ola will come out in her costume. And be just having fun drawing some silly little Gilder. Let me turn this off. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Did I scare you? Was I spooky? I hope I didn't scare you too bad. So uh, yeah, I'm a ghost, guys. Yeah. Let me get over here so I can show you guys my. My sweet outfit. Machikos. It's kind of anticlimactic, isn't it? If no one's here. Hi, guys. Let me just. Get back into my corner and uh, we'll be doing some art here pretty soon. It doesn't want me to move for some reason. I'm the scariest ghost of all. Woo! The kind that doesn't want to work.
the kind that doesn't want to move. I guess this is me. I can do this. There we go, workarounds. You guys can't really see it, but my light is just peeking through the sheet here. I was hoping it wouldn't show through, but uh, kind of ruins my ghost aesthetic. It might be really neat though. Maybe ghosts have glowy bits on them. I don't know. I've never seen one. Not for myself. Anyway. So uh, let's get the music back on so we can begin our drawing. Okay. So it is October, which means that is also Rattober, which means we're going to be drawing some cute little rats for uh, Beans Rat. So I already did day ones, and the font for that was Big Rat. So that's what this reference is over here. Let me see if I can zoom in. This is it without the paper texture because I wanted to be able to grab the colors for this piece that we're working on because they're the same here. So, um, this is Clover and Miss Basil. Clover's helping Miss Basil with the groceries. And then today's prop was Toothy. And that reminded me of an old saying that uh, humans had that uh, whenever someone was good looking, they'd call them toothsome. I don't know why. Weird to me. So this is uh, Miss Basil and Clover passing by a young soldier. And uh, Miss Basil comments on how handsome he is. And you'll notice this uh, soldier's got a pretty lengthy display. So it's a double entendre. I've, uh, I've completed the skin work for this one. And we'll mainly be doing the coloring and stuff. And if we finish all of that on screen, I'll be moving on to the next prompt. Because technically it's rat over day three over in my part. Uh, I can do both if I have time. Let's uh, get started. The paper texture I'm using is by Calvin at Drifter Studios. It's the St. Petersburg watercolor paper. And uh, the brushes I'm using are actually brushes that I created that I did for this piece. Just go in and grab this. For the first one, I'm just gonna grab an unstable brush and uh, we are going to begin painting. Which colors do I want to do? I think I'll work bottom to top. Well, let's grab this green brown color. Oh, I definitely need to turn my eyes up. Let's move this and all over. So it's okay. oh, I need to change our screen resolution. Hold on. We'll call it Rats for Rattober. Then we need to change the category.
know there's a digital art tag. My dip frames went down. I tried to have um, a better non blurry model for you guys, um, but that sucked up all my frames. So, I had to go back to the fuzzy, which you can't really tell when I'm shrunk down in the interface this small. Kind of gets a little better. Uh, what color? I guess let's do a green, but let's do like a darker green. That's gonna be too dark. This paper texture darkens everything. That's a little too close to the original. Maybe a little grayer. There we go. This could be this color. I didn't realize it, but giving them just a small blip of color underneath them kind of makes it look like a wild Pokemon just appeared and now you gotta fight Samurai Rattata. Okay, let's see. I'll go ahead and pick Hazel's uh, brown fur tone. And we'll go ahead and paint it. The way I like to color, I place down all my colors first, and then I go and erase things away later. That's just how I work. At least for this style. For the other style that I do on the channel, I uh, definitely do everything methodically. But these ones are a little looser. Look at the arm over here, this little hump in the back. I need to decide what color rat the warrior is going to be. I'm not sure. Do I want it to be plain? Because Miss Basil's already plain. Let me look up some. Let me look up some rat. Differentiations in their markings. Some of them are solid, but it doesn't seem to be uncommon for different. Uh, okay. So maybe let's give them a nice color. Let's decide. Maybe a darker gray. It'll be almost black here. He can be one that has like a white muzzle. But then kind of dark. And then like white. Uh, 
conscious and Go back to the pink. I forgot Clover's tail. Make sure I'm on the right layer. Really, my pink wasn't that vibrant of pink. Yeah, that's too bright. I think it got to stay I think it was. We don't see where it connects. Basil's colors are basically dead. So let's go and 
focus on this guy back here. So he's got some armor and stuff. He's got some flower seeds here. So let's get in the dark floor. So this is nice and filled in. And then it's also over here. He's got a one peeking through there. What material I want to be made out of. I'll be that blank for now. I am going to select a like green color, like the skirts are. And I'm going to this brush size. I'm going to get down the place where his strings are. go ahead and make the shield the same color. Okay, let's go up here. I'm going to get a very light gray color for the top of this I need to go in and put more brown in that little corner there. At least I think. Let me turn off the lead. Yeah, I do need to go back down there. go through and change this the very purple gray. I'm just going to undo the saturation there. And his little nose. I'll have to redo the layer order. You can actually see that. Okay, and I think we're good to start our cleaning work. So I'm going to just reduce down this bit. start with this and just work from the bottom up again. Uh, 
Um, I don't need this right now. I'll come back to it later when I go to start adding the details. I need the color. So I'm just going to select this layer and the skin. And we're going to go through, I'm going to make the eraser a little bigger. Just going to go through and erase the shape down to roughly the shape of doesn't have to be perfect. do without the tail a bit here. I'm make sure I'm inside the I'm just gonna make sure these don't really stick at all. Then we're gonna take our selection brush like these are still attached yeah, a little bit here around the acorn. So just go through the and then here at the table, connect these lines. There we go. It's like just a couple more pieces to work out. Basil or basil? I'm not going to worry about erasing the way behind them. I'm just going to follow the outline. Do 
flowers. Are brown, but um, the ear itself is white. I'm gonna turn down my brush size for this so I can get a little finer shape. Do that. That's the, the same color in a place. So I gotta be careful on how I arrange that. Go ahead and turn my eraser size back up. Think about right here. This is where the white part of her neck is to start. But her arm is completely brown. So we can leave that. And then she's got this little section underneath her cuff that shines through. It's a little brown. And her arms are brown. So we do that. Oh, I accidentally switched over to brown. Just make sure that these are nice and separated. Turn down 
She used to be a little rounder. Be back up. I need some clarification. Okay, I just didn't paint as far down as I needed to. We'll come over here, help clean this up. Need a do uh, a section of leg. See how good we did. Too 
much out of her I need to turn my sketch back. See my shape more properly. look back at my reference. I don't know if I gave um, Basil a differentiation between her Okay, I did. It was just between her inner ear and her body. This one I am gonna have to turn up a bit and turn down the color so I can see.
He has a white chest. Let's pull this back. And I'll... I think I like the fuzziness there. Be a good transition between a few furs. I'm just gonna care about where the walnut is. I need to fix the shape of his face too. I didn't do any work here. Let's get up. Let's look. Let's need it. Give him a shape. Maybe follow his eyes. Thing today. Invert it and clear. Okay, now we're on to the piece. I need to move my white player below my piece here. Let's actually work on this. And it's still a little purplish for some reason. Let's fix that. Just gonna also lower my hip layer. And then some shape where there should be shape. I need to go ahead and first let me turn yeah paper layers that's not the color I selected at all.
Looks like I also have to do some resizing of Lucky and it. Everything's too big, man. I have to go and lock these paper players. No, I'm not duplicating. For those of you who don't know, this canvas starts out like a 4,000 by 4,000 pixel. It's huge. Hi, Cryptic. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope your family's safe and the damage was minimal. For those of you who don't know, uh, Cryptic is a friend of ours that also streams, and you should go check it out. I know, possibly. And we'll see if we can get a nice little, uh, clip. If it becomes a problem and you fix them, I'll fix it. But and neat. Uh, I'm guessing that's from your uh, recent stream where you were updating some of your model parts. Is that correct? Okay. Uh, start the Uh, cool. Let's uh, resize this. I really like your model. Um, drawing it for the uh, pen follower milestone piece. I was looking at it all kinds of sideways. You can't really tell, but I, for some reason, did all the work of drawing everyone's line art. Um, so I drew like a full pose for you, but I did the great erasing because everyone was behind everyone else. And uh, I don't look up because it's hard to tell from the uh, pin posting uh, what's going on with your kneecap. So I had to scroll through your feet found an image where all your bone all, all sorry communicator error all the bones were broken uh so that clip was a clip for context to the wiggly antenna oh okay <laughs> that makes sense I've got to go through and hide all these in. Okay, and also turn this paper layer back off because it's going to mess with our colors. It's still giving me pink when I select that color. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do this on a separate layer and then separate it again. I don't even know what's going on with my kneecap. Well, I mean that's great because loan sharks can never hurt you, right? You're uh you're foolproof. Uh, go fix the gap. I'm gonna check anywhere else. See if there's any more gap. Like, and I do have to do some shape work on some of this gray fur. So I can try. Uh, well, 
we'll go into separation, bring it way down, line it to the edges. Okay, then we can merge these. Raise the way. where his uh, ear is going to go. I think I even want the white layer to be underneath the black layer. I erased away too much of it. I forgot that some flowers need to have that. I do have to make a better reference image for my model at some point. Uh, yeah, it would be great for us fan artists. <laughs> Plus, I just love looking at your model. It's got a lot of neat parts. You'll have to correct me. Are you working in Blender to uh, do your modeling? Or are you using another program? I've worked with Blender a couple times myself. And I'm trying to find some time to learn how to do grease pencil it. That belly white. I forgot that that's what that was. Forgot his little belly was there. I'm using Blender for my model. Uh, I'm loving your costume. Thank you. I'm a ghost, but I wanted people to know that I'm a friendly ghost. I put a little. Blender definitely has it benefit that it's a bit of a learning curve but once you once you get there it's a really great tool i'm really glad it's free and here's to hoping it doesn't go the way of the clip studio and turn on subscriptions for a previously free service i need to do some paperwork going on here I was not expecting to complete my costume in one day, but it worked out so well. I'm so happy for you. Okay, I'm on the wrong layer. I need to erase the belly part. Oh, it's up there. stop by your stream today you um i don't know which part of the world you're in but in my part of the world you stream very early in the morning. so did you uh have your model on stream then your new costume model that's good for the lights over that good over 
I had the new model up on stream. I'll have to try and come check you out the next time you stream. Hopefully I'm awake. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I do know where you're at and your your time is way ahead of mine. I don't want to bother going through the work of adjusting the whites again, so I'm going to do a tea. I'm just going to make a big erase. Hooray for cheating! Maybe I'll place this white layer underneath Clover's brown layer too. No, because she's got white tops over there that need to be. I'll put it back. Uh, I'm from the Florida parts of the world and was doing a collab with some people from the British part of the world. Well, that's really neat. Did you have a lot of fun? What kind of things were you all up to? I think this is what I need. Let's turn the opacity. That way I can erase where the brown is and not necessarily where the lines are because they're not the same. game and none of us are brave that's the best kind of uh gameplay playing things you can't do be very fun to watch playing horror games and stuff. A little, um, got a little bit of a, an emotional expression issue. <laughs> I, I don't really have a lot of emotions, I guess. I gotta come in here and fix this area where I was being a dork where I used to do it. I don't get spooked. And about the only thing I can feel is nervous under pressure. Anxiety? I got plenty of anxiety. stream later in the day but optimal collab time is around yeah with uh them being a brand new, i guess it would be. i seem to have a cursing problem whenever i'm scared <laughs> that's okay 
you're allowed to. I mean, to be fair, I think anyone who knows a curse word would curse in a scary situation. <laughs> I think that's only a natural human response. You want to you know a fun fact about the history of Rude Tangier's I got one for you. You're so kind. about rat cryptic. People feel one of three ways in my experience. They find them super creepy, they find them super cute, or they've never seen a rat in their life, they've never touched one, never interacted, never done nothing. It seems like the people who've seen rats and pet rats have pretty strong about the little rodent. A nice little nose shape up there. Race around his hand and his little bean. Rats have five beans on their I'm pointing out the fact that rats have five beans is because I didn't know that before this morning when I was making this skit. I usually dislike rats, but that is because of the house rat problems in the past. That's understandable. Um, and my human sponsor used to live out way out in the country and uh, they had a real field mouse problem and they lived in a part of the area where the rodents still carry the bubonic plague. So I think our take on it is pet rats okay, wild rats, yeah, just not a mouse. I'm doing rat for beans is rat over. I'm drawing a rat illustration every day this month. This is day two. Or day three, technically for me. So I'm gonna get a couple.
I did have three little guinea pigs. Oh, you do have three little guinea pigs currently. Guinea pigs are freaking adorable. You know, in uh, some South American countries, they're snacks. They're like chicken. They keep them in their house as livestock. And then whenever they're feeling nibbly, they'll uh, fry them up some guinea pigs. And coming from a country that sees guinea pigs as pets, um, that, that was the sad fact to learn. Don't stack them up for it. Colombians who know a good recipe or two for the rat-like creatures. Yeah. <laughs> Supposedly they taste a lot like chicken, but I feel like everyone says a meat tastes like chicken. I've known people who've eaten alligator meat and they've said it's like chicken with a fish flavor. And it's like, does everything taste like chicken to humans? I don't understand. The only time I didn't hear someone compare a meat to a chicken was venison. And they said it tasted like beef. She's got the tiniest little Clover's nose here.
Fix this little thing. And we'll erase. Erase away. Let's work on Miss Basil's old hand. Gonna be honest, this song here was the only song that I was proud of for the Song Sisters portion of the album. I think the other ones definitely need to have a second pass. Because this one was just so much better than the other, the other two. Speaking of which, uh, tomorrow's music stream, we're gonna be working on Lo-Fi. I'm trying to get a compilation going for a Lo-Fi album release. I've got six already, but I like for there to be more than two. And then we're not having the Donna Man stream this week. We've got stuff to do outside the house. We won't be around for it. But we'll be back on Thursday with Surviving Mark. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna play after Donna Man because I've only got one playthrough and it left. Like, the next stream we have with it is probably gonna be the end of that. Uh, I've been thinking about doing another Colony Sim game. Um, with like a post apocalyptic Colony uh, survival game. One of my favorites ever. And I'll just play it sometimes for myself or more. Oh, end zone. Yeah, end zone is yeah the post-apocalyptic game, and it's like a post-nuclear war game, so it's not like a zombie apocalypse game, but. But I don't know. I may not do that either. Because I don't know how fun it is for you guys to watch me have anxiety over resource <laughs> manipulation. With Surviving Mars and stuff, there's a little more event. I think Donna Man is quite a slow game. It's not everyone's cup of tea to watch or to play for themselves. I just need to get some pink over here on this Old woman's nose.
basically all of the backstrip pieces. what it was. I had turned it down to get into a crevice and I forgot to turn it back up. on the right eraser. racing for this one because is this me and yeah I'm gonna do this trick lime green activate It'll really help me see all the places to miss myself. Make sure to hydrate friends. Stay nice and moist.
By the way, guys, if you ever find one of my songs, like, incredibly annoying or something, let me know, and I will skip over it. I want you guys to have the most comfortable time possible while you're here visiting me in the atrium. This is my jam! By the way, I can still dance in this, uh, in this costume. I'll wait for the beat to drop. I'll do my little dance. I can't dance. <laughs> Nothing wants to work. My body will not move today. I'll just sit back down here in my corner. Just pretend this is. I can't even emote my embarrassment.
really know what Twitch did when they added all those cat features that we really didn't want or need, but it's sure making all the streams stuffy. Get rid of the lime now. Now we're onto the grass. I just saw how long we've been streaming. It doesn't feel like we've been streaming for almost two hours, but we have. So this is definitely gonna be the only the only Rattober image we do on stream. I may not even finish it on stream at this rate. I'm not the quickest worker. We did spend the first 30 minutes or so with him. Giving our community update. distort really changes the green on it. too much in that corner, but it's just that nothing was there. See if I did everything appropriately. Huzzah! We're on to sleep.
to go do some fixing over here. Gonna go back there and fix that white that I just didn't paint. There. I got a gilly brain, and it don't think. gonna redo that line. I keep making the same mistakes stop. Here we go.
like there was supposed to be some green over there too. I'm gonna go paint that. actually make it thicker because none of this is green. I just missed that big patch for no reason. I'm gonna go back to this white layer. I think I'm gonna do a copy. You. Move it. And I should just be able to free hand select it. Get rid of those and then we'll erase it. Try to erase this down as they can. I'm 
faster at this because I just spent two hours of stream doing base colors only. Also go in here and add a pupil. Right now he's all iris. If the hand erases, this it's not gonna pick up the green. What happened to the pink slayer? It was just the green was so tiny in some ways that it didn't even register there was something there. Uh, all other people when I go in to do the line effect. I'm gonna go ahead and see. Okay, I gotta look. Oh, this was the sunflower seed. Dark flower. I need to go ahead and turn off the other dark layer so I can see where the overlap is. Okay, now I got it done. Didn't put any white over there. I'm gonna pre-hand select this. Just kind of increase the size a little. Actually, I'm gonna bring it down. And then we'll do a little duplicato over here. So these 
these are the green effect on the interior. And I forgot, I can go back and turn the darker layer back on. I forgot, I need to come back and add some green to this body section. But before I forget, I'm going to go do that now. Because I still have the color in my brush panel. Skirt layer because they're the same color. It's important that they're separated for when we go to do the shading. seems like a very good candidate for rope usage in a hypothetical sentient rodent population. of the original color layer. It took me long enough to get here. What's this? Is that the pink layer? I just realized there's some color overlap going on here.
may go fix his knee. It's a little empty right there. Jitterico. I erased all of that hill that I had colored in and worked on. I have to go redo that. Go ahead and do blue. 
turn the paper to draw now. You can see how it made everything perfect. We were such light colors. I'm gonna go in and add the eyes and stuff. We'll do the acorn. I'm going to turn the paper layer off again real quick because the acorn lines were just the same color as Probably doesn't have to be exactly perfect. I'm gonna make it as good as I can make it.
did the same green as I did on the skirt is awesome. I'm going to group these together. I'm just need my acorn so I know what it is later on. I want to go next. I guess I should just start from the bottom. Um, but her fur has no effect, so we're good there. I like this Miss Basil. Uh, the white fur does have some line work to it. Let me make sure this isn't going to be some weird color. Functioned or something. It's gone whack. Our stitcher. I just did the outside line and um, inside effect for the white. And he's a little sweet, so we won't do goofy lines on him like we did on Clover. Next is the pink line. I don't know why I'm selecting it like that. I know the color is still going to be off in my image. Okay. 
Get in here and do some hand work. I'm gonna have to come in here and reduce the saturation. These are way too saturated. And he's to be above the leaf layer. adjustment to line layer. I can probably leave my line layer off for now. I need to go back to the gray line layer and outline this line. And it went back to Ridges are typically lighter than the shell. I'll come back to that. Let's come back down and work with the dress.
with him in the race either. Just rounded, so it looks more woven, I guess. I like the quilt. the line layer anymore. I'm getting rid of it. Now we need the leaf effect. And by the time I get that done, it'll probably be time to end the stream. Give some shape to these where needed. line is actually the best. And this is my space. bag peeking over this bag and then this is this one I want a distinction between this and this. I think I need to go back to the gray line 
back to the proper side. I just need to add a line here. Maybe one here and then the knee. That kind of looks like he's got a white cup there. At this point. I think that there. I don't need this image anymore. Let me just take a look and think if there's any more lines I need anywhere else. I do need to give them their whiskers, and I need to do lines for this gentleman. Uh, That's the whole point of the prize. Okay. And then we'll get white. The background color is still cream. It is. And then let's get their whiskers. these and whenever I mess with the shading it affects them. I forgot that I also have a little bit more line work to do on the soldier. I have to go and add his... We'll select this light green color again. Make sure they're on the right layer too. Maybe get a tendril on his belt. I put that in the wrong place. down acorn to get rid of the group. I 
Ta-da. Where's my pink glove? Way up there. they should be for the shading. So I'm just going to do a little of that while we have the stream. We do a selection, feather it out, decrease the darkness and saturation, and then we go through and do a second pass where it would be places where it'd be a little darker. I gotta be on the right layer. That helps. I want that to be a little darker. Let me do some work on basil. places it'd be the darkest it'd be probably here under the bag gotta make sure to darken this area too and this direction. and then we need to do some light so we'll go and select the light area brightness and then go to the lightest one. Do this. And then we'll do the same for Miss Diesel. Got a crunch. We're almost out of time. Uh that would be her. Not do that. Focus on the shadow. Get our highlights in real quick. Hey. 
Okay, that's all we got time for. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you to everyone who came by. Sorry my stream is a little scuffy, a little broken. That I can't move very well. But uh, thank you for coming by. And uh, we'll see you next time. Not tomorrow, but the day after. And we'll be playing Surviving Mars. So uh, until then, have fun, space friends.